Hey guys, it's Miss Parsons here. I hope that this video finds you well. Um, just know that I'm missing you and I hope that you are um, making the most of this time at home. Um, today we're going to be looking at a PowerPoint over customary measurement. Um, this week you're going to be doing some assignments um, concerning customary measurement and so I just wanted to walk through this PowerPoint with you. You have um, really great videos that you can watch um, as help but I thought that this PowerPoint would also provide some help for you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so it says what types of things can be measured? You know that we can measure length. Um, for example, we can measure the length of a room. We can measure weight and they have a scale here and, and an example of weighing a bag of apples. And you can also measure something called capacity. So they have an example here. You can measure the capacity of a carton of milk. I know that you are familiar with length and weight and capacity is probably a newer concept for you. And we're gonna take um, a minute here in a second to talk a little bit more about capacity. Let's start with length. Now we know that length is the distance from one point to another. And here's a couple of examples. You can measure the distance from one place to another. Um, you can do that with miles. And you can also measure um, something smaller like the length of a picture frame. And you can use inches or centimeters. Another um, thing that we're gonna be looking at today is weight. Weight indicates how heavy something is. A backpack weighs 16 pounds and a woman weighs 60 kilograms. Capacity, now this is something that may be newer. Capacity refers to the amount that a container can hold. If you're looking at a, a, um, a paint can, you can say that that paint can can hold one gallon of paint you can look at orange juice or milk inside your refrigerator and find the capacity of that. It says this jug contains 500 milliliters of orange juice. And there's two types of units of measurement. You have the metric system and you have the U.S. customary unit of measure. Let's look through here. I know that you're going to find um, a lot of things that you find familiar. For the metric system, for length, you have millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. Um, for our customary measurement, you have inch, foot, yard, and mile. Now they're both talking about length. For weight, um, a couple examples of weight in the metric set, what metric system is grams and kilograms. In customary measurement, you have ounces, pounds, and tons. For capacity in the metric system, you have milliliters and liters. Customary measurement, you have cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. So starting with length. If you look over here on this post-it note, it has a good diagram for you, an arrow where you start from smallest and go to larger. So when we're talking about customary units, we're not talking about metric today, we're gonna to focus on customary. The smallest type of customary unit for measuring length is an inch. It goes inch, foot, yard, and mile. So let's visualize these. An inch is the length of a small paper clip. A foot is the length of one standard ruler. A yard, is about the height of a baseball bat. And a mile is about the distance of 17 football fields lined up in a row. So that's all fine and well. I know that you guys are familiar with inches and feet and miles and yards, but where it's really important is knowing how to convert those. So for example, the question on your screen, how many inches are in three feet? So how are you gonna figure that out? Look down here on this post-it note. They have for you a table that is helpful. We know that 12 inches are in a foot, three feet are in a yard, 1,760 yards are in one mile. So the question is how many inches are in three feet? We're taking it we know that there's three feet. We're taking it from feet to inches. So if you look down here at your little helpful diagram, this tells us that we're multiplying. 
you have to multiply three times 12. There are 36 inches in three feet. Now let's look at another one. How many feet are in inches? So we're here at feet and we want to go to inches. So let's see how this helps us. I have 60 inches and I want to convert that to feet. Okay. From inches to feet. I have to divide 60 by 12. 60 divided by 12, that's five, five feet. Okay, moving right along to customary weight. Weight is how heavy something is. Here's um, our helpful diagram. The smallest customary unit of weight is ounces. It goes ounces, pounds, and then tons. So let's visualize. An ounce is, is about as heavy as one slice of bread. A pound is about as heavy as a package of butter, four sticks. A ton is about as heavy as a medium-sized car. So let's convert these. How many ounces are in five pounds? So we're going from pounds to ounces, pounds to ounces. Let's see what they say. I have to multiply five times 16, 80 ounces. How many pounds are in two tons? So we're going from tons to pounds. I have to multiply two times 2,000, 4,000 pounds. Here's our final example for weight. How many pounds are in 48 ounces? So we're going from ounces to pounds. So for here, we're going to divide 48 by 16. That gets us three pounds. Oh, here's another one. How many tons are in 12,000 pounds? I have to divide 12,000 by two. That gets us six tons. Now we've moved on to capacity. Here's a helpful diagram. Starts with cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. It says milk can be purchased in each size. Do you know what each size looks like? Here's an example to give you a visual. We know what a gallon is. You can get a quart, you can get a pint, you can get a cup. Now look at this visual. You guys have probably seen this in fourth grade. It's a great visual that you can, once you remember it, you can sketch it out and it will help you remember because a visual like this is oftentimes a lot easier to remember than something like this. So let's take a look. This G stands for gallon. Now look what they've done. They've added four Q's inside that G. Now these Q's stand for quarts. There are four quarts in one gallon. Okay, now they've added two P's in each of the quart. A P in this diagram stands for pints. There are two pints in one quart, so that means there's eight pints in one gallon. Now they've added two C's in each of the P's. Now the C, you know, stands for cups. There are two cups in one pint. There are four cups in one quart. And there are 16 cups in one gallon. So there you have a very simple uh, diagram that you can sketch out and use to help you when you're working with um, customary capacity. So here's the first question. How many cups are in two pints? You have two pints that you want to convert to cups. 
you're going to have to multiply 2 times 2, and that's 4, 4 cups. Next question, how many quarts are in 8 pints? I have 8 pints, and I want to convert that to quarts. Pints to quarts. So we're going to be dividing. I have to divide 8 by 2, 4 quarts. So that's the end of our PowerPoint, guys. I just wanted to give you something um, with a few visuals to help you. If you need any help this week with your work, feel free to reach out to me um, and let me know. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will um, catch you on the next one. See ya.